Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper Evening Prayer. And I am your companion and host, Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salis of the Franciscan Fathers of the Immaculate. And we are in the Wednesday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time, June 17, 2020. Uh, so let us start, if you have your bravery, like this, or digital, let us pray the invocation of St. Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Dance my heart many words, evil distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O oh Father, whose creating hand brings harvest from the fruitful land, your providence we gladly own and bring our hymns before your throne to praise you for the living bread on which our lives are daily fed O lord we in the desert fed the hungry thousands in their need where want and famine still abound let your relieving love be found and in your name may we supply your hungry children when they cry O spirit your revealing light has led our questing souls aright. So, source of our science you have done, the marvels human minds have wrought, so that the barren deserts yield, the bounty by your love revealed. First Antiphon, those who sow in tears will reap in joy. From Psalm 126. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antiphon, those who sow in tears will reap in joy. Second Antiphon, May the Lord build our house and guard our city. From Psalm 127 If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. O oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon, May the Lord build our house and guard our city. Third Antiphon, He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is His. Canticle is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Chapter 1, verse 12 to 20. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. He rescued us 
from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antipon, He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is His. Reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. To God whose power now at work in us can do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine. To Him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, world without end. Amen. Responsory Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Response Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Do not abandon me with the wicked. Response, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response, claim me once more as your own Lord, and have mercy on me. Canticle of Mary The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. Intercessions let us humbly pray to God, who sent His Son as the Savior and exemplar of His people. Response, May your people praise you, Lord. Let us give thanks to God, who chose us as the first fruits of salvation. Response, And who called us to share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
May those who confess your holy name be united in your truth, response, and fervent in your love. Creator of all things, your Son desired to work among men with his own hands, response, be mindful of all who earn their living by the sweat of their brow. Be mindful of those who devote themselves to the service of their brothers. Response. Do not let them be deterred from their goals by discouraging results or lack of support. Be merciful to the faithful departed. Response. Keep them from the power of the evil one. So, brothers and sisters, let us include in our Franciscan Vesper our family, relatives, friends, our loved ones, and let us not to forget to include also our frontliners and our brothers and sisters affected by this coronavirus, and let us pray for the end of this uh, pandemic. Now let us pose a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Merciful Lord, let the evening prayer of your church come before you. May we do your work faithfully, free us from sin, and make us secure in your love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So, thank you again for praying with me. And do not forget, always remember, smile, be happy, Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria. <laughs>